Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at how to use your iOS device as a mouse for your Mac. Now there are many different applications out there that do this, but we're specifically going to look at Mobile Mouse Remote with a handy link in the description below. You can find it for only $1.99. Now, Mobile Mouse Remote works really, really well. It's very quick, so anytime I make a movement here on my phone, I can pretty much instantly see it on my computer. I can even use gestures. All the gestures that you know and love on your Mac are fully supported here in Mobile Mouse Pro as well. You can just use two fingers to scroll around, even use Expose or the App Switcher. Now, why would you really want to do this? Well, maybe you have a desktop computer and you want to use a trackpad sometime instead of a mouse. Or maybe you don't have a mouse with you and you're kind of on the go and you want to use one. This allows you to do just that. It even tells you what app you're currently using there at the top. And when you switch, it kind of highlights for you. Inside of settings, you can see where you're currently connected to. I'm connected to Andrew's MacBook and that's over Wi-Fi. You can purchase peer-to-peer -peer or USB, which are just different connections and not have to using Wi-Fi, so Bluetooth or USB. There's also a ton of different options in here for you to completely customize this, including how quick this is actually working. So it should pretty much be able to mimic what you're doing on the built-in trackpads. Not only can you use this as a mouse or a cursor, you can use it as a keyboard as well. There's a dedicated keyboard button as well as function keys and all of that. Now, as I mentioned previously, you can use gestures on here, like two fingers for scrolling or even pinching or expose. But the thing is on a phone, those are, those are a little bit tougher because it does support the multi-touch, but it's just really tiny. So it's a little bit hard to get those to work. Luckily, it works on a tablet, which is actually really great because you could use this for many different things. It could just be a really super large trackpad. You could use all these additional features such as um, these buttons for Safari. I'm in Safari. I can go back and forward much easier. I can hit my home button. I can search. They have those built-in controls that are really easy. They have a navigation bar here on the bottom that allows me to choose what app that I want to work in. So I can just jump on my computer super easily by clicking what's in the dock, not actually having to move the mouse to the dock on the computer. You could even use this as a drawing service. So if you have a Wacom tablet or an Intuos tablet, you could use this as that tablet for on your Mac. There's a presentation mode and it even has an Apple Watch counterpart that'll show you the slide and allow you to go forward or backward. Here's kind of that drawing mode that I talked about, which just kind of removes those two mouse buttons and brings up this big blank canvas for you to kind of draw around using maybe a stylus. You do need the free Mac utility. It looks something like this, which just basically allows you to configure the server and change your mouse speed, your touchpad sensitivity, things like that, which are just really basic, but allow you to really customize this so it works how you expect it to work. Now, this is a really great mouse for a desktop or for when you're on the go or when it's you're giving a presentation and it's far away, but even better, is if you're using a media PC. So if you have like a Mac mini tucked underneath your television that you want to use for browsing IDB's website, catching up on arrested development on Netflix, or even watching some really useful tips or product reviews on the iDownload blog YouTube channel. All that is really easy and handy to do using your phone because you can use the mouse to move the cursor as well as using the built-in keyboard for text entry. Again, if you want to pick it up, it's $1.99 with the link in the description below. Let us know what you think of Mobile Mouse Remote. Please subscribe if you want to see more tips and tricks like this. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.